Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well in our last video, if I go down there, we created these sort of image to text on hover boxes here. Work right quite well. What we're going to do today is expand on that idea and we're going to do an icon to text reveal on hover. Real easy to do and we're not even going to use any custom CSS for this. We're using all of uh, Divi's inbuilt features right here to do this. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder. Once loaded, this will enable us to build on the front end, which is a fantastic feature with Divi. Divi just keeps getting better and better, the Divi theme. If you're building any sort of WordPress site at all, I do suggest you check it out. And if you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So let's get started. Here's what we had. I'm going to start from scratch. I'm going to create a new row. If you see these little buttons down here, the green one is to add a new row, the blue one is for a new section, and the actual black one in between is for a module. So I'm going to click the green one for a new row. I'm going to select three columns in that row. And there it is, and it's prompting us to put a module in straight away. And by default, Divi comes with all these modules as standard, and you can build pretty much any sort of website you want straight out of the box. OK, so I'm not going to put a module in. I just X out of that because I want to do a little bit of work on our row. So I'm going to go into the row cog right here. And what I want to do, I'm going to go to the design, down to the sizing. I want all of my columns, one, two, three, there's one underneath there, one, two, three. I want them all to have the, the same height no matter how much content or how little content they've got in them. So I'm going to say equal column heights and I want because I want them to all to be the same. Then I'm going to give them a minimum height of say 400 picks. This is what I used on, on the one above. You may need to adjust yours to make it larger or smaller. And it doesn't matter what you put in there. If it's not right, you can just change it at a later date. So can't really see anything because there's nothing to see, but those have actually expanded to 400 pixels deep, each of those. So that's great. OK, let's hit my little checkbox right there. Now what I want to do is work on the actual individual columns themselves. I'm only going to do the first one here. So we'll go back into our row. And when you go in there, you'll see the columns that you have. One, two, three. Click on the cog for the column you want to affect. I'm working on the first one. I guess I want to move this over to the right so you can see. And I'm going to go down to background. Now, you want to think about this first. What do you actually want to have back as a background color in regular state and in hover state? You can use an image or a gradient or whatever you choose. For simplicity, I'm just going to use two colors. So we've got background here. Now, if you go up by the word background just on top, you'll see these little icons. If they're not there, just hover over the word background. They will appear. Hit the little arrow. That's going to give us some options for non-hover, desktop, and hover. Hover, funnily enough. <laughs> so on the desktop, on the non-hover state, we want it to be this blue background. I'm just using the generic blue here. Obviously, put in whatever color you want. And as you can see, it's put that in there straight away. Now, when my mouse hovers over it and we've got the text up, I want it to be black. And again, obviously, you choose whatever color you desire. I'm just doing this for expediency. So now we've got two states. We've got a blue when we're not hovering, and we've got a black on hovering. That's absolutely fine. OK. Well, let's go about adding some content. So let's check both the boxes to get back out of the row settings again little dark circle with a plus icon there to add a module. I'm going to use a blurb module just exactly as we did before up here. And there it is put in there with a bit of generic text and sort of placeholder image. I don't want to use an image because I want to use an icon up here. 
So if we look at our content, text is fine for the moment. Image and icon, next tab down. Use icon, select yes, and simply select whatever icon you want to use. Put it in there, that's fine. So we've got an icon, we've got a title, and we've got some content there. It's kind of hard to see, but we'll change that in a moment. All right, well, first thing I want to do is give it a little bit of padding. So it's got some breathing room. Then we'll start working on the icon, then we'll do the title and the text. So go over to Design tab, down to Spacing, and I think give it 20 pixels all around. You don't have to put in PX, it'll do it for you. If you want percentage instead, just select it and put percentage in. And again, 20, hit the little chain icon there, it'll do the next one for you. Got a bit of spacing there, that's absolutely fine. Okay, well, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start working on the icon here. Now, Go up to image and icon. I need to think about what we want to happen. Well, icon color for all states, I want it to be white. So I'm going to check the little arrow and get the hover and desktop states back up again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the color. I'm going to make it white when we're not hovering over it. But when we are hovering over it, it's still going to be white, but it's actually going to be transparent. So if I click on the little color thing there and just drag this right hand slide all the way down, that'll make it transparent or invisible. See through, it's still there, but you just can't see it. So desktop, perfectly visible, hover, disappeared. Great. So size wise, I want to make it bigger than that. You can circle your icon if you want. I don't particularly want this on mine and put a color behind there if you want to. I'm going to just use it as is. Placement's fine, top. You can have it on the left, but for ours today, I'm going to go for top. Here we go, size, icon, font size. I want to use that because I want it to be bigger. If you slide the slider up at the moment, it's just going up to 120. You can actually type any value you want in here. I think I used 130 for the one above. There we go, that's nice and big. Okay, great, we're getting there. Now, just forget about the title and the writing for the moment, just concentrate on the icon. Now, what do we want it to do? Well, we kind of want it to be in the middle here. Well, you might not, you might want to leave yours there, that's absolutely fine. So to get it down there, Divi's got some fantastic options in the design down here called Transform. First tab is just going to make it bigger or smaller. Second tab is the one we want today, which is Translate, which will move it. So I just, I want it to be in the middle left and right where it is, but I want to move it down vertically. So I'm going to uncheck this. With that checked, it's going to do both at once. Now I've unchecked it, I want to slide this slider to where I want that icon. Somewhere around there. Let's actually make it an even 100. That's going to work fine. Okay, that's great. But I only want it there when we're not hovering over it. When we're hovering over it, it's going to have to be somewhere else. We want the text to be up here. When we're not when we are hovering over it so if we check the little mark again so on desktop we want it exactly exactly where it is on hover we want the whole thing to move up so we can see all of our text so again i just want to grab that and let's move it up to where we want it there i kind of want my text about there so that's fine fantastic now let's move on to our text just shut up the transform there okay and the title text which is right here well we want it in the center for a start I want it to be white you can make it bold you can do whatever you want I'm just gonna leave it, leave it like that capitalized uppercase and lowercase well uppercase and small uppercase however you want to do it put yours how you want to do it 
Okay, that's great. So again, we want different things to be happening on the hover state. So if we go over to our little arrow with the text color and we're going to do exactly the same. Now let's think about this. On the desktop version, I don't want to see any of this. So again, we've got to select the color that we want. Hit the little color picker right there desktop version I want it to be invisible so opacity wants to be zero there we go when we're hovering on it again I want it to be white but I want it to be fully visible there we go fantastic and I'm sure you can figure out what we're going to do with the text here we go this body text exactly the same thing here's our text color set it as white hit the little arrow get our desktop and hover up now desktop we don't want to see it at all color picker opacity zero gone okay hover state it wants to be there fully color picker opacity all the way up or opacity one there we go we can now see all of that so let's save this and see what we've actually got here I'm gonna save my changes Gonna hit the little purple button to save everything we've done. Hit the save down on the bottom right. Once it's saved, let's exit the Visual Builder and see what we've got. Go down to where we left off. And here we are. There we go. As you can see, our background's changing to black. Our icons floating and disappearing. And our title and our contents there of course you can add a button you can do what you want before I stop I'll just show you how to copy this over so if we enable the visual builder like any other thing you can go to your module which is this dark one you can say hit the two little squares or two little oblongs there to clone it so now you've got two doesn't matter which one you move just left click hold it and drag it over to where you want it now it looks like there's nothing there but it is there it's just because it's, it's white it's all white on white and our column background remember is the one that we had to color change the blue and the black on so we've got to copy those column styles over to make this actually work very easy again just go into your row here's our columns one two three I'll just move this to the right a little bit right click on the one that we've got set up already copy item styles just left click on that go to the next one right click paste item styles bingo and there you have it it's given it that background and obviously repeat for the next one so we'll just save that and all i'm going to do is go into this one and change the icon and we're done that will do absolutely fine there we go save save and exit the visual builder and there we have it so I hope you found that useful it's a great little effect to have on your site I do see it quite often it's very easy to achieve with the Divi theme if you've enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to the youtube channel it really does let me know whether these videos are being watched or not and whether to make any more of them if you're interested in web development take a look down below we've got some great free web development courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our youtube subscribers so do check it out once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com Thanks for watching. Have a great day.